Name, image, and likeness, or NIL deals, are all the rage in college sports these days. They help student athletes make money off their name and their brand, but there is a new nonprofit now started by two former UConn grads that's taking that concept beyond just the player and the company they are pairing with. And joining us now is John Malfatone. Right, got it, nailed it. Uh, President of Ble Bleeding Blue for Good. Uh, what a good idea this is. John, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. My pleasure, Gary. All right, tell us uh, about this collective. This is pretty cool. It helps UConn student athletes with these NIL deals, but also uh, supporting charitable causes. How does that work? Tell me how that partnership works. Uh, well, you know, first of all, the, uh, uh, the NIL world is. Uh, it's just getting started. Well, it's and brand new money that yeah. didn't used to exist, yeah, right? Yeah, and this is our this is our first year of doing this. Yeah. And um, uh, I've I've I worked at the foundation uh, on the foundation board for about ten years and chaired it for a while and had a pretty good idea of uh, our donor base and what's interesting to them. And we thought it was important to pair um, compensating student athletes with with charities. All right, right. We need the compensation in order for UConn sports to. Uh, maintain its competitive edge but the charitable aspect we think is important to our donors and I believe it's important because I've, I've been involved with charities my whole life sure so in order for a student-athlete to get paid they have to do a charitable service um, our, our primary model is and you, you can see it on the screen right now is uh, we run clinics in the inner cities and what the athletes are doing is not just r running the clinics but they are serving as role models for these kids in the inner cities. So, so this was a pro camp event you had last year with the champion yep. men's team. They go out and they talk to kids in the community, teach them, get their hands dirty, yep. working with the kids, and a good experience on both ends, I'm guessing, right? The athletes love to do as well, correct. Ab absolutely correct. Um, sometimes we use pro camp, sometimes we do this ourselves. Um, but it's a three-hour clinic, you know, two hours is sort of hands-on, teaching the kids uh, how to play basketball. but. The most important part is after that's over, when the athletes talk with the kids. Sure. And they tell them how they grew up. Many of our athletes came from the inner cities. Many of our athletes um, are from uh, modest income backgrounds. And they tell them how they you know, went to school, sure. got an education, got a scholarship to go to UConn, and now they have a chance to be pro. And Garrett, if you, if you just watch the kids sure. and see their eyes light up, because these are their heroes. Hey, listen, you've got another one of these camps coming up, yeah. uh, correct? Is, we got some information I think we'll put on the screen here for this. It's in Stanford this weekend, uh, Sunday, October 8th from 1 to 4, Boys and Girls Club in Stanford, kids ages 7 to 14, and they're going to get to mingle with the with the guys here, right? Yep. Yeah, this is the fifth clinic we, we will have done uh, over, the, over the past year. We've done them in Hartford, we've done them in Waterbury, uh, we've done them in Bridgeport, and so we're trying to cover most of the states and, and most of the, uh, the inner city use. What's the long-range term for this? You're just getting started. This is a great idea. Where do you see this evolving over the next coming years? Well, you know, it depends on what happens with NIL. I mean, I, I think, you know, eventually NIL gets regulated in, in, in some fashion. Um, the main issue is uh, there's not a lot of equity in, in terms of how people are, are doing things. You know, there's some people that are playing by the rules, yeah. uh, and the NCAA rules kind of change every day, and there's others that are not. So it's, it's and we play by the rules, and we've got a very... Uh, we work everything through uh, UConn compliance, and uh, so we're, we're very, uh, very clean in what we do. Um, but there's right now, I think there's probably a dozen bills in Congress yep. uh, regarding NIL, so it's difficult to anticipate where that's going. Um, but I can tell you over the next two years, we will continue to grow. Um, most of our money came from private donations. Now we're, we're starting to get into corporate right. sponsorships. Yep. Um, and then lastly, we're starting to run events as a way to uh, raise some money. We just ran a Champions Dinner in, uh, up in Hartford at the yep. Convention Center. It, listen, it's a great idea to interject charity with this influx of money coming into college sports. I think it's a great idea. And we'll be watching as you progress.